ですから、まあ、そういうわけで、日本語も、まあ、ちょっと使ってると、使おうかなと思ってる。All right, and right now we got. Oh, okay. So these are two players. Oh, uh, awesome. Ah, ちなみにあの最近日本語使う機会があんまりなくてあのまあ文法のミスとかあったら許してくださいね All right. Um. So we've got right now we've got we've got Sis who is uh. So I lived in Washington until recently, and Sis uh was my old roommate, my old training partner. So I played、right. with him a lot. Very solid Marth who's been on the come up recently, beating Blade Wise several times in tournament. Um, so, really, I, I really think he's really strong at the floaty matchups.、Yeah. And then we have Michael Kelly Psyche from Hawaii here,、uh, who is an old friend of mine from Hawaii.、Um, shout、Psyche. out to all the Hawaiian Smashers.、Uh, Shoyo, Tom, wish you guys were here.、Um, and un a relatively unknown Samus, who's honestly pretty good.、Uh, and he looks like he I mean, I just saw him move around the stage for 30 seconds, but yeah. He yeah, hey,、good. do we have an update on, on how this pool is going? Is this winners or losers?、Um, I'm curious. Okay. But、uh, I'm actually a big Sizz fan. You know, he kind of came out of nowhere, and I was like, whoa, this guy's pretty good. Yeah. He,、um, uh, I had never heard of him before Northwest Manifest, which was,、um, I guess, early 2013? 2012? 2012. Wow. It's a long、um, time ago. Second round.、Uh, is this winners, losers? Okay. Yeah. Got you. All right. Yeah, that's a good idea.、Um, just take your own. Okay. So that means,、uh, okay, so Michael Kelly Psyche just beat PBJ to move on to this. Wonderful.、Uh, second round of bracket. Congratulations, Psyche. And so, what do you think about this matchup on FD? I actually know very little about it. FD is、uh, a really interesting pick because, like, generally,、oh. you just look at FD as a stage where any punishes are, like, magnified. But not, not so much in this, in this matchup, I guess, because it's less. Well. These, I mean, Samus can kind of can kind of get get、uh, some pretty big combos on Marth given si、uh, certain situations.、Um, but yeah, by the way, I'm gonna we're gonna work on getting a、uh, breakdown of the big names、uh, who have progressed、um, so far. Yeah, that's a reasonably good idea. I don't think there were any upsets though. So right, if you if you take a look at the expected outcome of Wave One pools, I don't think there were any real、Huge、upsets. upsets. Yeah,、uh, like、the one big question was will Bladewise or Lucky go go through? Right, and Bladewise won that. Yeah, Very and Bladewise won in winners. Yeah,、uh, Lucky dropped to losers. So yeah, and he but he got out of his pool in losers.、Um, and then Mango, I, I'm, Mango's progressed. I'm pretty sure、uh, that down smash was pretty good.、Uh, yeah. Ooh. Ugh. You know, I'll say this.、Uh, my old roommate,、uh, the Prime, who's a pretty, pretty good Samus player, honestly.、Uh, he always said that he actually likes. I, I played Marth versus Samus with him for a little bit. He actually said he really likes this stage、yeah. uh, as Samus.、Um, Interesting. So you know. I mean, I guess you have to play more ground based, right? And right. We were、And、talking、Samus、about that earlier. That. Yeah, Samus. Samus wants to stay on the ground. Both, I think this is a stage、uh、where both. Yeah,、oh. but he's fine because he's Samus and he's grapple.、Uh, Samus can grapple out of her air dodge. It's kind of a unique trait. And Link, Samus, the characters that have grapples, it's the one move you can do after air dodging. Everyone else, you're really、falling. nice、uh, edge guard, by the way. Yeah, that was really good. He just、Everyone、jumped out and、uh, shield breaker him. Shield breaker. The the the, the, the that's a, a trick that I actually got familiar with while I lived in Japan.、Um, the 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 run off neutral B or jump out neutral B. It is a really deceptively large hitbox off the stage. Really, it's really good even bigger than on the ground. Um, I think it's more like your move. With it, so you're、okay. like dragging the big hitbox with you. Yeah.、Um, on the ground, you're in place. It's 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 really good in situations like when Sheik is recovering with up B, and there's nothing else would hit her at that at that awkward angle she comes from.、So、yeah. Yes. Good game sense from Sizz using that. Yeah. By the way, we just saw a, a lot of we're seeing a lot of crouch cancel down smash from Samus, which is like a standard kind of Samus、uh, trick.、Yeah. Crouch canceling is basically when you hold down. And、uh, you kind of take a hit, right? Yeah. How would you explain it? Let me. Uh, uh, I remember. I, guess, I, I guess the way I explain it, it's, it's basically a form of super armor. Or you somebody told me that was a bad comparison.、Um, I don't know I why. I actually think it's a pretty good comparison. It's、uh, pretty good. You, you. Yeah. It is still zero zero. No problem. And and it's it's. I mean, another way to think about it, it's kind of like a, like a focus attack sort of thing where you you can absorb a hit and then counter.、Um, yeah. You have to mind your spacing because even though you don't suffer from knockback when you're crouch canceling, you do get pushed back. Yeah. So if they space their move correctly, you're not you you might not get that punish you wanted.、Uh, yeah. But there's a lot of things you can do at a crouch cancel, and it's also percent dependent. And now that Samus is at such a high percent, she's not going to be able to take that hit. She's going to go flying no matter what. Oh, oh and she's just being the wrong way. Yeah, being the wrong way and man, not, and dying. Okay. Gets the weak hit of the up tilt and doesn't kill him. Yeah, that was the second time that he that he got four B up tilt. Yeah. 
sometimes referred to as the Thousand Needles. <laughs> Popularized by Cactuar. Right. Yeah, yeah, right? Thousand Needles, shout out. As far as I know, anyway. Yeah. Dude, I love Cactuar. Where is he? I wish he was here. I wish he was here. The Sizz, the one thing I'll say about Sizz, knowing him personally, I feel like his one weakness is he gets impatient. And impatient? I, he, I'll be playing him, and I sometimes I'm just like, he's going to forward smash. He's going to go forward <laughs> smash. And then I just, he wants to kill me so bad right yeah, now. He just, he, and he's going fishing. You can kind of tell. Yeah. If he doesn't do that, I think this is free. Not free, but I think he's got this. I think yeah. he's got this unlocked. I don't want to see him get impatient and start throwing stuff out, going off the ledge to edge guard Samus, like things like that. I don't want to see that. That's that's that'll be a bad look for him. Okay. He needs to just play patient. Nice, nice. Right there, I saw he so he four four bead uh, recognized maybe he could get the up tilt. Just decide to shield Samus there on the way down. And a nice poke with the down tilt. Yeah, that was really good. Let's see if he does anything here. Forward smash. Okay. Did, now does that actually hit if he times it perfectly? Man, I was about to ask you. <laughs> I think um, Samus can sweet spot under that. I think so too. Because someone told me that back in the day, he, uh, Hugs, when he was on point, he never missed a sweet spot, and you could never hit him out of his underhand. Well, that was that definitely was not, not sweet spotted. Sweet <laughs> yeah, and when, and when we say sweet spot, by the way, we're referring to recovering from below the ledge in such a way that you just reach the ledge and grab it without poking your head up there and getting hit. Yeah, so it's the, like sweet spot. it's the sweet spot recovery. That's where you want to be. Yeah. It's, um, the, it's the perfect spacing when you initiate your up for right. your recovery move. And the way you edge guard that is by edge hogging because you're you're bank you're banking then on grabbing the ledge. So the mix up then is then the the other player can grab the ledge and snag it from you so you fall. And that's that's when mind games come into play, like oh if they're if you're expecting to do that, you need to go onto the stage and so forth. Like everything. But if you're else into in statistics, uh, the expected value of just standing on the stage and like, you know, throwing out the forward smash like Sizz is doing, right. you're basically saying, okay, if you mess up your sweet spot, I'll hit you, and if you don't try to sweet spot, I'll hit you. So it's kind of one of right. those things where you kind and of are you, daring if, the other guy to yeah. sweet spot effectively. And if you and it, and then if and then if the guy hits your sweet spot and you edge guard from the stage and you miss, it's fine. You're oh, oh great the dunk. The dunk. I he think that dunk. reaches I think that definitely reaches I think so much. too. I wonder why I, I guess it's the spacing of when uh, you know, when Samus is even able to up, he determines how he's going to edge guard. But that yeah. was a great pick to just stay by the ledge and uh, dumpster him. So here we go. How we, here we go. Here we go. Fountain of Dreams. Uh, I would say this is a a pretty good counter pick. The one thing that I like versus Marth on Fountain is uh, so Marth. Hit, oh, so that that was a tipper that I was just going to talk about. Uh, the further away he hits you with, from this from his sword, like the closer the tip, the stronger his moves are. And there's uh, on most stages, there's a spacing where Marth can just kind of sit under the platform, and if you land on it, he'll get a guaranteed tipper. Yeah. But with Fountain with the variable platform height, um, that's not as guaranteed. So I do like that aspect. The tipper is such a strong move that you know limiting. Oh, oh my goodness. Limiting its effectiveness is like really key. Yeah. Anyway, a beautiful yeah, edge guard by Sizz. Yeah, edge, the wall jump did not save our friend Psyche. Psyche. That, um, I love that, that ledge hop down there to edge guard that. Um, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. The, uh, shout outs to, shout outs to, you know, the, you know how every move in this game actually has an official name, but. Yeah. So, so I don't know if it's the same in the American version, but the, the name for Marth's downer in the Japanese version is the half moon. The and half that, moon? Half that's moon. so beautiful. I think that's, yeah, I think that's the most beautiful It's so beautiful, because Marth's such a beautiful kind of guy, you yeah. know? Yeah, he's definitely like, he's definitely about that, like, uh -oh, that, that pretty looking, boy swag. Looking rough for Psyche, by the way. Looking like little B oh, out there. Oh, looking really rough. <laughs> Yeah. Sizz is doing a great job with the edge guards. Yeah, uh, Psyche's like sitting up there collecting his thoughts. Yeah. And Sizz is actually doing a great job with his recovery. We've seen Psyche do the runoff Nair with Samus, which is like really an amazing edge guard. But it is. The it's one like counter to it. On top of yeah, it, re it really is. That's a really great way to put it. The one way to kind of counter it is to just go, keep going down uh, and just like try and wait it out. Um, there's a mix up in there too, but yeah. That's proven to be enough for Sizz. The, uh, it's, it's, you know, oh my goodness. Okay, wow. and Sizz is, Sizz is working those reads now with that yeah, downer. Yeah, Sizz is on point right now. Yeah, that downer that Marth uses uh, to cover text, it basically covers multiple options, and then it, oh, oh my god. Indeed. That was good. You know, and I think Psyche, I think, uh, he's, that when, when he was sitting up there on that top platform, it really seemed like he was a little disappointed because that first game was so close. Yeah. And, and Sizz is just kind of pulling it. Yeah, pooped right on, now. dude. Yeah. 
Yeah, Poop to Han. No. Sis is playing really good right yeah. now. He's just kind of controlling it. He's staying mobile. He's not getting locked down. And, he, and you see right now, Samus with the ledge, Marth in the middle. He's maintaining stage control, which is yeah. just so important. Absolutely. Especially when Marth has tools like his sword hit, his big sword hitboxes to keep the opponent out. Absolutely. Keep him in the corner. Oh, and Psyche falls oh, to his man. doom. All right, 2-0 from Sizz. 2-0. Uh, oh. Very close game one, and then Sizz pulls away in game two.